Hey, City Kids, welcome back. Hey, how's it going? Woo! Now, Brenton, we've missed Easter with the City Kids, but did you have a good Easter? Oh my gosh, Easter. I love Easter. I do we, too. We had such a great time remembering what happened to Jesus on the cross, but then also, gosh, how great is it that he didn't stay on the oh, cross? Oh, I know. Amen. Uh, such good news. What a celebration. Mm -hmm. We are excited that you are here with us and we are kicking off a new teaching series today. Brenton, what book of the Bible are we starting today? Moses? Oh, so close. Uh, creation. I'll give you a hint. Maybe you know, secrets. it starts with an E. Ooh, does it have Moses in it? It does have Moses in it. Is it the book of Exodus? It's the book of Exodus! Yeah. Woo awesome. I am pumped. I can't wait. I hope you guys are excited too. Now, Brenton. Yes. So Exodus is, spoiler alert, city kids, it's a bit about the Israelites leaving Egypt and going on a journey. Mm, sure and is. so Brenton and I thought it would be fun during this teaching series to take you guys on a tour of the churches that make up the City on a Hill movement, but we thought that maybe we could kick it off with a studio tour. Ooh, that sounds exciting. So, Brenton, could you pull out your fancy phone? I sure will. Oh, just let me turn it on here. Mm -hmm. And I'll give us a little snap, and you can join us for the studio tour. Is this on? Yeah! Hey! Welcome to the studio! How's it going? This is our fancy backdrop. Oh, Welcome, so check it fancy. out. What else we got, Brenton? Well, you know, you didn't know this was a fake wall back here. Oh, look, we've got some lights. Ooh. Um, there's some like remotes and stuff up here. Oh, some cleaning products. That's probably not too exciting. Look at this though. Not just one not camera. Just, just, not just one camera, one, but two cameras. That's pretty exciting. And you probably didn't know too that we're in like this closet. Mm -hmm. And we're also at, here, let me show you. In a closet that leads out into City on a Hill Geelong. <gasps> How exciting! It's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool studio we have, and it's in the church. So we'll take you back inside so we can keep going with the episode. Here we go. City Kids, I would love Whoa. to introduce you. Who is this, Jess? This is my family. Because, uh... you know, this week we're talking about God's family, the family that he rescued. Yeah. And I thought it could be fun for us to show off our family. Yeah. So this is my artistic way of doing it. Whoa. This is my family tree, so this is Papa Fields. He is great. I love him a lot. Papa Fields. This is Mama Fields. Also great. This is me now residing in lovely Melbourne. <laughs> love it. Um, this is my baby brother. I used to call him Baby Fields, but I can no longer because Baby Fields is married to my incredible sister-in-law. Oh, cool. And they have a baby on the way. Now, you've got a baby here, baby niece, but it's a picture of a flower. Yes. Now, Brenton, I was trying to be funny. This is a Poppy, and their baby's name is gonna be Poppy. But my brother and sister-in-law also have a very fun, beautiful dog named Lucy, and we love her very much. And who is who is this? That's a great question, are these Brenton. Your, are these your children? You know, I, I, I wish they'd be a wild ride. So I wanted to include not just my family that I was born into, but I think the family that God gifted me with. So this is my Brisbane family. So if you zoom in really close, you might recognize Dave and Ro and their kiddos. I am holding a very goofy bath as well as my friend Steven and my friend Megan. Very, very cool. Yeah. What a beautiful family you've got, Jess. I, I really like them. Brenton, did you make a bit of a family tree to show us? I do. I'm not as crafty as you, but I did get some pictures of my family Ooh. on 
popsicle sticks. Oh, how cute. This is the best. So, this is my son, Teddy. Hi, Teddy. This is my daughter, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. This is my wife, Lauren. We love Lauren. And then, I don't know who the other guy is, but I'll, um, he, I don't know. He doesn't have a hat on, so I'm not quite sure. He's, he's nice. He's, he's like friendly. a nice guy. Anyway, um, yeah, these are, this is my beautiful family. They are just, ah, oh, the best. And I think this is a great way to, um, I can't wait to, for them to see these. They haven't seen them yet, so we might be playing puppets at home later. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a bit of a fun toy yeah. too. Maybe you could do it at home. Yeah, City Kids, we'd love to see the creative ways that you make up your family, whether that's the, the family you were born into or a family of of friends and beautiful people that God has put in your life, we would love to see a family tree that you make. Now, yeah. if your parents give you permission, we'd love for you to send your family trees so we Ooh, can yeah. see them. That'd be cool. You can send those to us at hello at citykids.tv. Mm -hmm. Hi City Kids, we're journeying through the book of Exodus. Why don't you join me in chapter one, verses one to seven. When Jacob, also called Israel, went to Egypt, he took his sons, and each son took his own family with him. These are the names of the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. There was a total of 70 people who were descendants of Jacob. Jacob's son Joseph was already in Egypt. By some time later, Joseph and his brothers had died, along with all the people who had lived at that same time. But the people of Israel had many children, and their number grew greatly. They became very strong, and the country of Egypt was filled with them. Good morning, City Kids. Welcome back to the Good News with CKTV Studio. Over the next few months, we'll be joined by an Old Testament legend, my dear friend, Moses. Welcome, Moses. Oh, well, hello, Jane. Uh, it's incredible to be here. Now, Moses, as I understand it, you have a story to share with our viewers. Mm, I do indeed. I want to share my story with you, the story of God's people, the Israelites, and our exodus from Egypt. How exciting. But I'm sorry, you said you were exodus from Egypt? Mm. What do you mean? Mm. Good question. Uh, exodus just means departing or leaving. You, you can read about our exodus in the second book of the Bible, conveniently named Exodus. Mm. The book of Exodus and the story I want to tell you are, are all about the way God has rescued his people so they can worship him and know him. But I won't spoil the story just yet. Let's just start at the beginning. Hmm. The people of Israel had many children and their number grew greatly. They became very strong and the country of Egypt was filled with them. You know, Benjamin, I actually think the Egyptians are scared of us. Scared of us? Absolutely. No matter what they do, we keep growing. They've made life really hard for us, but they can't stop us. That's true. They forced us to make bricks and build cities and work in the fields. And they haven't broken us yet. But did you hear about the king's latest plan? No. What do you mean? Mm, the king has commanded that every Israelite baby boy be thrown into the Nile. That can't be true. Oh, I'm afraid it is. I don't know what we're going to do. Moses, that's horrible. Mm, it certainly is, Jane, but thankfully, our story doesn't end there. <sighs> the Israelites were God's people, and we know that God loves and protects his people. That's true. And we see throughout the Bible, and um, we see in the biggest way through Jesus, that yeah, God loved us so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross, paying the price for our sins, rescuing us all and making us a part of God's family. That's right, Jane. You see, God chose us, the Israelites, to be his chosen people. Even though things seemed scary and God still had a plan. God promised to rescue us and keep his promises. 
Now the Israelites, they didn't always trust God, but God is always faithful. And we can be confident that God loves us and will protect us because we've been adopted into his family. Mm, that is good news indeed. Well, Moses, I think I can speak for all of us when I say I am very interested to see how this story unfolds. But until next week, City Kids, keep trusting Jesus. Wow, Jess. Whew. What a story. What a wild ride, even just so far. Well, I can't wait to see what happens next. But hey, City Kids, before we go to worship, why don't we pray? Love that. God, thank you that you are a God that saves, that you have a promise and a plan for us and that we can trust it because you are good. Mm -hmm. God, thank you that we get to read this incredible journey of Moses and the Israelites together and talk about all of the amazing things that happen, all of the hard things that happen. And God, I pray that through this whole series, we would get to know you even better. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I can't wait for worship. Let's do it. Oh